Hello everyone, Father Marshall Shelley here giving you a Rector's Update, a parish vlog on what's happening in the life of the church here at St. Peter's. Looking like it's going to be a pretty quiet week. We have a lot going on, but most of it is in preparation for what's coming down the pike later. Right now we're in the midst of offering our Adult Inquirer series on Sunday's afternoon virtually and also on our YouTube channel and you can catch up with that if you want. Uh, on top of that, we're also in the midst of our youth confirmation class, and they are getting ready on Wednesday evening, so it's quite busy in terms of formation work. Of course, all the regular pro programming is going on. We have our Sunday services. We have our daily offices Monday through Thursday. We have our outreach services of our Wednesday night uh, community supper as well as the Alice's Cup food pantry on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Of course, the shop is open and all, everything's going on and it's just lovely. We're in the midst of kind of gearing our eyes and our hearts toward what's coming down the pike in the next couple of weeks. One of the big things that we're aiming towards is, of course, our bishop's visitation. This will be the last time that Bishop Stokes is with us. That is on November 20th. Hence, all of this formation work as we get ready to present people for confirmation for reaffirmation of their pit baptismal vows and also for the week the word of the week today it's monday the word of the week today and that word is reception i was just talking to someone yesterday about reception into the church it's an odd word and it kind of feels a little stilted i mean we're going to do a wedding in Michigan, and of course there'll be a reception after that. Um, when there's any kind of a big event in someone's life, you often will stage a reception afterwards where people can connect with each other, where the guests can be received and welcomed, where the person of honor can be lifted up and be received into their new role, whatever that might look like. A reception we tend to think of as being something akin to a celebration, and it is. But reception is also the way we are uh, welcomed into a community, welcomed into a space. And that's what reception is in the church. It's part of those rites of initiation that a bishop presides over in the Episcopal Church and also offers to anyone who seeks to walk in this life as an Episcopalian and as a follower of Jesus Christ. If you are someone who's never made an adult profession of faith before a bishop, you would be confirmed in your baptismal vows. If you are someone who's already received received their baptism and their confirmation, and you wish to experience uh, that moment of being reconnected to yourself and to the church, you may seek reaffirmation. If you're someone who has journeyed for a time, or perhaps your whole life, in another tradition, and you wish to become more fully Episcopalian, being received into the church is exactly what we're doing. So that aspect of reception is really kind of being welcomed. The author Brene Brown talks about the sense of welcome being full if we it is proven to us that we are both desired and also um, also welcomed, also uh, received. You know that we know that we have a safe space to be, but also that people want us there. Reception is a way to affirm that. A lot of people tend to think that when you're being received into the church, you have to give up where you were from. That's exactly the opposite, actually. The bishop recognizes you and says, you, my brother, my sister in Christ, you are a member of Christ's church, Christ's body, and we welcome you here. Uh, it is really an affirmation rather than a transformation of the self, of the journey you've taken to get to this point. And to be received into a church is really to say, I've been here for a while, and now I want to say that this is my home. And moreover, uh, I'm okay with hearing people affirm and desire that for me as well. It's one of those beautiful things in the church that a lot of people often don't necessarily uh, make avail themselves of, but it's a great opportunity to open a new chapter. And that's what we're doing here at St. Peter's as we walk the life of Christ. We're always closing one chapter and opening another. We're always affirming the fact that God is both the Alpha and the Omega of our lives, the ending and the beginning. And, uh, and as well, we are always experiencing those new chapters opening and closing for us. So in that light of that, I, I welcome you here to St. Peter's. I ask you to know that sense of being welcomed home. If you choose to experience that sense of reception of the Spirit, that reception of the life of Christ here, then all the better. Welcome home. If you are interested in extending that to another, even even more so, it's an exciting time in our lives that we get to open our doors and our hearts and welcome people home in Christ and to receive them as Christ would. 
So be well, take care. There's a lot going on, but most of it's pointing towards the near future. We look forward to sharing that with you. St. Peter's Episcopal Church, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and know that we are always looking forward to sharing our time with you. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.